how we doing over here, everybody? Great. Good, great. wonderful. Great. Welcome to the Royal Theater. We're very happy you're here with us. If you've never joined us before, we do like to get you involved. So I'm going to teach everyone two quick words, okay? Your first word is huzzah, and we say this when good things happen, so we'll raise our arms and say huzzah. Try it with me. One, two, three. Huzzah! Perfect. Okay, your second word is five. We yell this at Gaston, our villain. So shake your fists and yell five. One, two, three. Five! <coughs> okay, last but not least, you are more than welcome to take some portraits. Just please make sure that flash is off for our safety. And there will be sing along, so please be our guest. Sing along with us. Have fun, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Did you get that, Bobby? I don't want to see you mess up. Not at all. <laughs> Bye. Bye to the cameraman. Bye. Lords and ladies. We remind you to please remain seated, keeping your hands and arms inside the theater at all times. Thank you. <laughs> Lords and ladies, please give a royal welcome to our maestro of musical madness, Sir Samuel of Morocco. Good gentles all, please welcome those loquacious lovers of legends and law. Those versatile viscounts of voluminous verbosity as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Smythe and Mr. Jones. Theater, the famous royal theater, and while we're in the theater, I say let's do a play. Using our imagination and that good enunciation, together we will be creating a creation that will take the breath from. <laughs> Attend and hark, if you've an ear to let, we're gonna tell a tale with once upon a time at the start. And there's a happily ever after at the end. I say, Mr. Jones? Yes, Mr. Smythe? What story shall we players play today? Might I suggest a tale as old as time? A song as old as rhyme? Beauty and the Beast! It's a very special tale of a very special girl. She's full of hopes and dreams, a little something like you. And if she puts some work into it, makes her mind to pursue it, she can make her wish come true. It may be awfully hard to do, but with her imagination, her courage, and determination, if she can conquer all her fears and trepidation, well then she just might make it You're speaking French? Oui. Why are you speaking French? Well, since our story begins in a small provincial town in France, I thought it'd be a good idea to, you know, set to me. Uh, set to me? Oui. And how long have you been speaking French? Well, what time is it now? That's what I thought. Actually, it's time for you to introduce our royal visitor. It is? Oui. Madame et Monsieur, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you today. And now we invite you to give a warm welcome to our royal guest, the one, the one and only, Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle Bell. Bonjour, Mademoiselle. 
so, Belle? Bonjour, Mr. Jones and Mr. Smug. Bonjour, and welcome to the Royal Theater. Well, thank you. I'm so excited to be here and help tell my story. As are we. In fact, we shall play most of the roles in your story. I shall pretend to be Gaston. And I shall pretend to be the Beast. <laughs> and you shall pretend to be Belle. But I am Belle. And you will be marvelous. Well, thank you. I'm sure you'll both be marvelous as well. Did you hear that? <laughs> Another rave review, and we haven't even begun. And so we begin. Places, please. A scene in the village. Once upon a time, there was a delightful demoiselle named Belle. And it was on this particular day that you made your way to your small provincial town. Book in hand. Why, thank you. Indeed, Belle loves books. Far off places. Magic spells. Daring do. Heroes in disguise. And happily ever after. Little did Belle know today would be her lucky day. Hello, Belle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I promise I'll keep talking, oh, but. What is it? Well, it's Gaston. <laughs> yes. Mr. Jones is pretending, pretending to be Gaston. I know it's just that well, Gaston had much bigger muscles. Ah. Check. <laughs> and he was a little bit taller. Ah. Uh. Check. <laughs> and well, he wasn't very. Bright. Check! <laughs> All right, let's take it back to my line. Little did Belle know that today would be her lucky day. Hello, Belle! Hello, Gaston. I'll bet you didn't know that today would be your lucky day. Oh, book bears in town. No. Jean-Marie Le Prince de Beaumont is here for the book signing. Uh, no! Oh, I know. Free turkey legs for everyone! <laughs> Huzzah! No! Today's the day that Belle's dreams come true. And what do you know about my dreams, Gaston? Well, I uh, actually, Gaston knew nothing about Belle's dreams. All he really knew was, I'm the most eligible bachelor in the village. I'm strong. I'm handsome. I'm derriere. Debonair. Exactly. <laughs> I make all the ladies swoon. Not all the ladies. Yes, there was one exception. Boom! You're the most beautiful girl in the village, which makes you the best. And don't I deserve the best? <laughs> uh, Belle was this close to getting away when... Oh! Say you'll marry me. Oh, I'm sorry, Gaston. I just don't deserve you. Well, she's right about that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Was that a yes? Uh, no. But not to worry. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Matter of fact, I know a lovely young lady. Redhead. Nice set of fins. Make no mistake about that. Oh, right. Hey! Belle returned home only to find that her father was missing. My father's missing. I must go find him. Picture if you will. A young lady embarking on a nocturnal quest. Fleeing in fright through the forest, she comes upon a dark and mysterious castle. Little does she know, she's about to enter. The beastly zone. Deutsch. Her mother says a battle for favor. 
<laughs> what is happening? Well, Belle is in the library with the candlestick. <laughs> You'll not have a clue. <laughs> you see, Mademoiselle, this is an enchanted castle. We cannot talk. All of you? But of course. My name is Cogsworth at your service. And I miss his pots. La, and Lumiere. Candles and teapots and clocks. Oh, my. <laughs> Belle soon understood that the castle was indeed enchanted, and as she continued to explore, she discovered a magic rose. Oh, it's beautiful. Suddenly, out of the shadows, break forth a beast! Ah! Ah! Hideous beast ah! with crusty yellow things. Dolly by the hair, a putrid rotting bread that smelled of garlic and owl milk. Bidding it over so foul, so repulsive, so outrageously stinky. Lord, I didn't love it, Rachel. What way, though? Uh, oh, what are you doing? I was all three eyes when you crushed on you. Kitty, me, 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 me. Where's my father? Get out! <laughs> so, Belle finds out that her father's in the dungeon and offers to take his, her father's place. The beast agrees, letting her father go on his bad promises to stay with him, the beast, in the castle. Which is great for the beast because he's so lonely, but bad for Belle because who wants to live with a beast? But, Good for the air cogs and Mrs. Potts, because maybe she'll break the spell and they'll all be human again. <gasps> Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> you see, the beast was once a handsome prince. But because of his selfishness, a spell was cast upon him. And all the bats who lived in the castle. As for the rose, it too was put under a spell. It continued to bloom into this, the prince's 21st year. As you can see, the petals have begun to fall. But if Zippies can learn to love another and to earn her love before the last petal falls, the spell will be broken and we will all be human again. If not, he will remain a beast for all time. Oh, what's the use? She'll never see me as anything but a monster. Perhaps there is a way to have a sick sickle than you. But how? Well, to begin with, you must learn to be kind, courteous. You simply must behave like the prince you really are. And, fortunately for us, the kingdom's three leading experts on prince of behavior on the student. Oh, this will never work. But you must try. For our sakes, you must try. But we will, and we will help you be here. Oh, I thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Lesson number one! The royal bow. Play short and put behind your right. Slide your right foot forward. Put your left hand in. Put your right hand out. And you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. How oh, is yes, that's what it's all about. Lesson number two is the royal dance. So send me with some royal dancing music. See if we play. All right, push arms up like this. And follow me. And we sway, and we sway, and we all do. Quack, 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 quack. One, two, three. Ah, so let on your feet. Oh. oh. Every fairy tale must end with the royal kiss. Lay on so somewhere. Huzzah! You are now officially a gentleman. Oh, are you ready? I can do this. Or bell. Madame et Monsieur, please welcome. The charming and delightful Mademoiselle Belle! The beast's heart was pounding. How could he begin to tell her how he felt? He knew for certain that he loved her. 
well. I'm sorry I behaved like a, well, a beast. That's all right. Perhaps I jumped conclusions. It's true, you know, you really can't judge a book by its cover. Ah, Seabrood is right. He likes a deep. It means that be the poor of love. That is, until magic began to rain from the sky. Like shooting stars, sparkles of light fell from above. Rising from the ground, the beast appeared to glow before man's eyes. It began to change. What had been a hideous beast was now transforming. Oh, 